Keep it up. Come on. There's always Push another us, one coming us, in. Us, Don't us. you dare fucking relax. <laughs> Keep going. World champion means something, right? You're supposed to be tough. Hola, damas y caballeros. Damas. Hola, damas y caballeros. Bienvenido a Ultra Flex Fitness. Ahora vamos a entrenar con Marisa. Inda. La Marisa Inda. Maravillosa. No, 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 no. Vamos. JK, what up, family? You know, I can't speak Spanish to save my life. I have one advantage. I can make the sounds go okay. Because soy ruso. If you don't know what that means, you don't speak Spanish either, baby. <laughs> Jerry, you speak a little Spanish. Say something. Vamos. Vamos. That's all we need to hear. Marissa Inda done one everything in powerlifting. She straight up ran out of shit to win. She is ant sized, but elephant strong. Or is it the other way around? In any case, know. we'll find out soon. She is going to be training her back. Believe it or not, her entire athletic history, minus like three years when she was 17 years old, is in powerlifting. So I know she looks like a physique athlete, but she's just getting back into the mix. What a better way to get back in the mix than get right into the fucking blender <laughs> for an insane RP back workout. Jared, Marissa, she's going to be okay after this, yes? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We already have a safe word. She put, she we do have a safe word. <laughs> and the safe word is mmm, comma, daddy. But pronounced in a way that I can't say on YouTube because they would flag us for porn. Let's get into the workout. <laughs> Why are we over here doing lat pull downs when apparently the first exercise is going to be pull ups? The reason is that just like you don't just get into your working weight of bench presses right away on a first set, you gotta warm up. The same thing applies to pull ups, and we use the pull down to warm up for the pull up. So typically, we'll do something like a set of 12, very light with like a 30 rep max. Then we go do a set of eight with something a little bit heavier, like a 20 or 15 rep max. And then we do a set of three or four, something pretty damn heavy, and or that set of three or four gets replaced, and a set of two to three pull-ups is done with the actual pull-up, and then boom, we are ready for pull-ups. Now, if you can do quite a few pull-ups, a really awesome thing that you can try is putting on a little bit of weight, doing a set of two with like 25 or 10 pounds hanging, and then after you're done with that, starting your working weight, and if it's just your body weight, it's gonna feel a lot lighter, because of potentiation, your nervous system wakes the hell up for that heavier weight, lighter weight, the reps are easier, your stimulus to fatigue is better, your mind-muscle connection is better, and there's a gentleman that clearly wants something from this rack and I'm taking up spaces to get the fuck out of here. Shit. People might not know this, but Marissa was on Ellen DeGeneres doing pull-up dancing. It yes. was pretty impressive, so. Maybe well, a compliment from Jared. Strange. It's hard to come by. They are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> you can touch your chest to the bar. It's no longer a rep if you can't touch your chest without okay. strict technique. So when you can't, just slowly lower as if you're gonna do another. Pause at the bottom and then dismount. Okay. Sounds okay. good. And each pause at the bottom is a for real pause, okay? Okay. Okay, so there's no rush. Start, start in that deepest stretch, stretch position right there. Every rep needs to be right there. Down slow. Excellent. Pull it all. Right. Pull, 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 pull. Two, beautiful. Not quite that slow, a little fast. All the way down. There you go. Three. Whoa, good. All the way down. There. Good. Yes. Whoa. And that's it. Slow, 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 slow. And rack. Good stuff. Excellent. Excellent. Was that, that better? Crazy impressive. That was beautiful. We are going to do technically two exercises for vertical pull with Marissa, but it's really just one exercise. The first multiple sets, three to five sets, are going to be loaded. The second three to four sets are going to be unloaded. Marissa is so fucking strong that she can do decent reps with a crap load of weight hanging, which for anyone is good. For a female is ridiculous. And we're going to take advantage of that strength and do weighted pull-ups. Why do we just do regular pull-ups after? You tend to notice that weight potentiates your nervous system so much that regular pull-ups function essentially as assisted pull-ups after. They allow you to really get in touch with a crazy mind-muscle connection. The technique feels super stable and smooth. After weighted pull-ups, you would be remiss not to try some unloaded pull-ups because the feel is just going to be that good. Up. 
Go. Go, damn you. Chin up. Oh, good. Slow. We'll get you back for that one. Fuck that one up. Yeah, no worries. That, that was, was really my mm, daddy. Oh, yes. Okay, safe word. Daddy. Yes. Oh, she did it. All right, unclip if you can. This could take, this could take a minute. Boom. Full stretch up. Excellent. Two. Very full good. Full stretch. Full stretch. There you go. Three. Full stretch. Four. Look at them back muscles. There you go. Five. Oh, these are perfect. Whoa. Just Slow. as you said that. Slow. That's it. Relax. Good <laughs> stuff. These are perfect. They were, very good. <laughs> they were very good. They were very good. I feel like my, tough, huh? my forearms go before anything. Yeah. Right. You're feeling your back somewhat here, yes? Yeah. Very I definitely good. feel my back. I always just feel like my forearms give. Uh -huh. But with the straps, that no big deal. They yeah. just hurt a lot yeah. still. Yeah. yeah. I hate that. You guys might notice that, those of you watching. The straps can take away the limiting factor, but they don't take away the pain. And wasn't there some kind of song like, I can be your hero, baby. Remember that shit? <laughs> yes, I remember. I can take away your pain. <laughs> he sang it approximately like that. What was it? Uh, Iglesias? Yeah, Enrique. Enrique Iglesias? Yeah, Enrique. Boom. Oh, oh that's perfect. Yes, slow stretch. That's it, that's the last one. Slow, 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 and rack. Beautiful, very that good. Mirror, looking at yourself is a, you don't like to no look at yourself? Me. No. Why not? I don't know, it's so distracting. It's because, not because you're I'm uh, so enthralled with yourself. <laughs> no. You're doing pull-ups, you're like, oh. Look at you, mira me, Marisa. No, because like oh. you see your face, your own face, it's frightening. I mean, look, if you look like me, it's really frightening. If you look like Jared, I don't know, people have their tastes. One, one last set here, Marissa, one last set. Marissa, that was an amazing rep, do it again. Oh my God, perfect. All day, two more. Slow, as if another, as if another, as if another, as if another. Amazing, 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 amazing. Wow. That's really earning that shit. It is. Good stuff. I will not like you guys. Tomorrow. This is what it feels like to be like, oh, hold on, go back up, go back up. Is what it feels like to oh. tell? So what does it feel like? It's kind of cool. Great. I don't know. Look down at people. <laughs> Apparently Marissa can do some unbelievable slow eccentric pull-ups. You may find these to be the hardest thing in the world. But now that she's done and drinking her Gatorade, which we are in fact sponsored by, I'm kidding. Gatorade doesn't know we exist. We're gonna go pick a rowing variation and Jared is gonna coach Marissa up. She's gonna do rows, but she is a refined lady and not one of the, you fill in the blank. It rhymes with rows. Three sets of weighted pull-ups. Three sets of unweighted pull-ups. Now it's time for rowing. We're gonna hit two row variations today. Uncharacteristic of us, but new gym, new me. I don't know. We're gonna do some low rows first for probably about three or four sets. And then we're gonna try to do some kind of higher row variation. Hit the back from all sorts of different angles so that when you see your crush in the mall with her skinny boyfriend, you can turn and hit that fucking angle with the back. And the boyfriend's like, Damn it, Stacy! Your YouTube RP follower, future boyfriend is here. I hate him. I'm inadequate. He's gonna fuck off. You're gonna get in there. Stacy's gonna be like, "Ooh, you saved me!" And then you're gonna wake up and go to the gym so you can do that shit in real life. Let's do it. Amazing. You got more. Come on. Keep going, Marissa. All day here. Yes. Slow. Big stretch. Big chest at the top. What? Oh. That was it? Oh, I thought you said one more. 
<laughs> you did great. <laughs> Thank Next you. time we'll actually push you. <laughs> I was only getting thrown. Slow and deep. So you guys might have noticed that Marissa is taking her elbows and pulling them behind her back. You may have also seen people say that the lats are no longer active in that range of motion. And that's largely correct. The thing they don't follow up with is the lats and the back are not synonymous. There is an enormous part of your back, dare I say most of your back, that is not lats. And the obsession with lat training is cool and all, but if you want an overall big ass back, you've got to do some movements that take your elbows and pull them way behind because all kinds of crazy shit in your mid upper back actually allows for that to happen. And then that gives you that turtle shell look so that if people see you in the bar, they're like, hey man, are you, an, are you a Ninja Turtle? And you're like, yeah, so what if I am, motherfucker? And they're like, oh geez, okay, sorry. And then just fuck off. That's it, you learned something today. It is okay to lose your composure. Let's do it. Yes, pull further back. Go, go, go. go. And slow, as if another, as if you're gonna do another. And rack. Oh, that was good. Tell me you felt something back there. I did. Awesome. That's why I sucked. That's why I sucked. <laughs> My shoulders got pumped too. All the way back. Yes. Two no more. bullshit. Hard pull. Hard two pull. more. All the way back. There it is. Oh yeah. At least one more, Marissa. Two more. Hard pull. Pull back. There it is. Again. Another one. You got it. Oh Come shit, on. all day. Let's go. Nobody said rest. <laughs> Good. One more. You got it, come on. Yes, slow, slow, big stretch, rack. We're gonna stop like eight reps ago if I didn't start yelling. What? I saw that shit. That fake mic shit. I know like, how to fake you it. You like pull and you're like, oh, it's getting hard. Every girl knows how to fake it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. The flexion row involves the muscles of your upper and lower back. It actually taxes the entire back at the same time. Generally you get whatever kind of attachment you want. It's uh, not really important. And if you're a big fat fuck like me, you probably want to put something heavy or something solid that touches the cable attachment so that you don't get dragged forward. But Marissa's a tiny, tiny person. So she might actually be able to do it without it. What you're going to do is round your entire back, your whole thing. And the more weight you have, the more you're round. And then you're going to come up and when your lower back hits a 90 degree angle, completely vertical, you're going to stop leaning back and the rest of the movement is generated by spinal extension and retraction of your elbows. Big, slow forward lean, huge stretch, even hold for a second. Arch tummy out, chest up, touch for a split second and go again. And you can do this where you touch and hold for a second, which Marissa is probably going to do today, or you can do this where you big stretch and then just gently touch and come right back down. Dealer's choice. Good. One last one. Big pull. Oh, Slow as if another. And rack. Good stuff. All right. Two more plates. <laughs> you sandbagging motherfucker. <laughs> I think it's better to sandbag instead of the other way, right? Instead of overshooting? Yes. Oh, okay. Try another one. You got this. Pull hard. Pull. Let's go. Yes. yes. More. One more. Hard. Oh, yeah. One more. Let's go, Marissa. One more. Keep it up. Keep it up, come on. There's always Full another stretch, one coming stretch, in. Stretch, Don't stretch. you dare fucking relax, keep going. You got this all day. World champion means something, right? You're supposed to be on, tough. Marissa. There we go, another one. You got it. Power, touch. Fuck yeah, oh, that's it, that's it. Good, slow and good rack, good stuff. You actually, you actually went hard. All right, one hard set out of the champ. What? You actually went hard, good job. Cause can have you guys talking shit. <laughs> That's why we talk that shit. That was good. That was very good. This is actually a very good exercise uh, for assistance work for power lifters, especially that pull yeah. conventional. It's a way to load the spinal erectors a ton without loading the spine much. Yeah. In the in the not so common cases that 
more spinal erector work is something you can even recover from, this can really harden your ass up. And especially if you are taking a break from conventional deadlifting for psychological reasons, because you're like sometimes you're just fuck tired of deadlifting, this exercise can thicken up your back so that when you come back to deadlifting, you're like, oh shit, like my spinal erectors are bigger and strong. Touch that tummy. Use some power from the bottom. Now down slow. One last one coming up. Slow, slow, slow all the way. Stretch, slow, 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 and rack. Good stuff. I don't think I hit my stomach on this last one. <sighs> Close enough. A secret between friends. <laughs> I feel abused. You feel what? I feel abused. Good. And that's how we know it's successful. We good to go. Can you stop fucking hitting me? I'm sorry. You I'm just like, jabbed I'm me with your elbow right twice. Now. Yeah, you can't even like. fit through doors. I can't even stand next to you anymore, <laughs> folks. I, I have it enough. Don't train your back because you're turning into some cocky fucking <laughs> world champ like Marissa. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I'm getting through here. You're gonna need two seats on an airplane. Enough. Can you turn around and hit one of your new bodybuilding poses oh. you just learned? Oh, yeah. Did I learn one? Oh. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ay, Dios mío. Ay, Dios mío. Ay. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> it's all the same. That's how it all ends. <laughs> Folks, Marissa's been great. Please follow her. See you guys next time. Nobody knows what's gonna come out of that mouth. Ever. We just know what's going into my mouth, not what's coming out. Why did I look at Jared when, when he said that? <laughs>